Here on Matizone HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association, with head coach Lauren Steinbrecher of the JMU volleyball team. Coach, huge week um, for the Dukes. Three sweeps over Northeastern, first place Hofstra, and then William & Mary last night. Um, how big is that moving forward and coming off a few tough losses to get those three wins? It was huge for us. You know, at last coach's show we had, we talked about how losing is brutal and, and how much fun winning is. And um, to have them turn around from totally underperforming to, to executing at our level was so exciting to see. Um, and, I, and we always knew they could do it. Anyone associated with the program was like, come on, you know, we have the talent, we have the skill, what's going on? Um, and to figure that out and to come out at home and put on a show uh, was super exciting to see for everyone involved. Uh, junior outside hitter Megan Niski has had a, a really great couple of weeks. She had mm-hmm. a pair of double doubles against Northeastern and Hofstra and then had 12 kills on a 500 attack percentage last night against William & Mary. How big is that uh, coming down the stretch to kind of have her to count on? Megan has been tremendous, and and what people don't know who maybe don't know the game at a, at a high level is she does every skill very well, um, whether it's defense, whether it's passing. Her blocking has been exceptional this year, and of course it's easy to see her offensive numbers. Um, but, and she's just solid. She's a rock, and so you don't have the high highs and the low lows. You always know uh, what Megan's going to bring, and it's going to be really good. And she's also just a, a low maintenance person. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to always be like, okay, how's Megan doing today? Because she's always doing great. She's always doing what she needs to do. Um, And that's leadership, leadership by example. But she's been tremendous through the course of this entire season, uh, but especially these last few weeks. And uh, we're really proud of her, and we expect to see more of it. Uh, Especially the past couple weeks, the offense has been just incredibly well-rounded. There hasn't been, you know, somebody ripping down 25 kills a night or anything. It's just been a lot of people in double digits and consistently producing. How important – is that to you guys as you get into the later stages of conference play in the tournament? It's huge. It, it plays to our strengths. I think we have a lot of really good offensive options, and the fact that Sarah Patterson can move the ball around and, and put all those hitters in a position to terminate is really important. And Sarah has been working really hard, um, and it shows on the court. And um, she's, I mean, she's put up a tremendous offensive numbers, um, not only with the team attacking but herself attacking. Um, and, and her transition play has gotten so much better, and I'm really proud of that. But you know, she's put us in a position to terminate. You have to have a setter to be able to do that Um, and so I'm really proud of that Um, and then all the hitters I think in the past you know early on in the season it would be okay this hitter's hot or this hitter's hot but we can never get everybody going it was always one or two people Um, so the fact that right now everybody is doing their role and everybody's bringing it when it counts is is the reason we're having our success leaving uh heading down to Charleston tomorrow for a a match with College of Charleston Mm -hmm. Uh, it starts off three-match road swing kind of through the Carolinas um, along with Elon and UNCW. How important is that stretch um, coming down the home home stretch, I guess, of conference play and moving towards the tournament? I'm really excited. I think it's easy to play well at home uh, in front of your crowd and, and your family and your parents and everyone who supports you. So I'm excited to see how we handle that challenge of, okay, let's go into their gym and, and they're going to fight and they're going to push and how are we going to respond to that. Um, but, you know, I think we're going to respond really well. I think we have a really good team. And, you know, like we've said before, it's the same volleyball court, the same volleyball. Um, so we just have to go out each point and battle. But, you know, Charleston's great. Wilmington's great. Elon's, you know, pushing people to 26, 28 points. And so we're going to have to bring it each one of those nights. And if we focus on that night and each point, um, I, I think we're going to come out on top.